So you saw my kayak after the first modification project, but uh, let's see if we can get started again. So I had these uh, old registration stickers and I got some new ones in the mail. The old ones did not stay on very well at all, but I have some ideas. So I went to our Walmart and while at Walmart, I um, got some uh, Velcro and I had in my mind, hey, I'll just... Uh, go over to Office Depot and have those registration stickers um, laminated, right? So I got back home and, um, well, here's what these uh, laminated uh, registration boat stickers look like now. Hopefully I can use some uh, Velcro on that. So here I am starting out with the uh, chair assembly. Um, trying to get all the pieces taken apart from the box and um, well I think I better uh, read the instructions right well I guess I should have read the instructions well I'm trying to but I have a problem Okay, so you're supposed to uh, screw on the Scotty mounts, right, for uh, rod holders. And uh, I thought it said it had some preset uh, holes in there so that when you screw them in, you can just screw them in real easy. But, um, I don't know, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't looking. So I had to go and drill some pilot holes for these um, sheet metal screws. And um, I had to go back and forth, you know, try to find the right drill bit, right? Nope, still not big enough. Let's find another drill bit. Oh, duh. Okay, so I did finally find those uh, pre-drilled holes, but unfortunately those pre-drilled holes were still um, too small. So I finally had to, you know, get out those drill bits again and um, uh, make them bigger so that the sheet metal screws would um, screw the Scotty mount into place. And once that was done, you know, it went together real easy after that. Now, I'm just doing the other side. Oh yeah, I gotta go back, find another drill bit. Or maybe it was my screwdriver I was missing, I don't remember. All right, thank God that part was done. The rest looked pretty easy, so I took the chair and uh, had the, um, I don't know what to call it, just a chair rest panel maybe and you're supposed to uh, screw it into the uh, swivel. And this was also quite tedious because you just don't have enough room to um, work your fingers around to screw that in place. All right, now, it's time to put the uh, support bars on. Mm -hmm. 
and that support bar is going to go into the uh, or face the back of the kayak. And later you'll see where I put the uh, uh, rod Scotty mount rod holders onto there. And then you see uh, some straps that are in front of me. I use those straps to uh, strap the uh, chair in place. And there I put in a, a rod just to demonstrate the Scotty rod holder. Next, I want to work on the um, forward deck assembly. It's really the same product for um, attaching a trawler motor and battery, but I'm just putting this up front so that I can uh, attach my um, deeper fish finder to up front of the kayak and also put some Scotty mounts on there so I can attach a um, my GoPro cameras. And there's my deeper fish finder. So now on each side, I'm going to um, pre-drill some uh, holes to attach these uh, Scotty um, mounts to. And this time, um, the bolts I'm using will have the wing nuts. That way I can take them off and on real easily so I can slide the um, front deck in and out of place. So it can be broken down. Yeah, it looks like I had to like drill a pilot hole and then another bigger hole in order to get these bolts in. All right, so this is my uh, boat light. And I kind of chose this because there is a special adapter for a GoPro camera. Initially, I uh, used this little gooseneck thing that you'll see here. And then uh, here's another GoPro adapter for the other Scotty mount. So I'll probably have one facing forward and one facing towards me. Now I had this uh, spare piece of board in my garage from a previous project. And I thought, well, heck, maybe I'll just uh, make a mid deck right that way I can um, um, place uh, my tools and um, my tackle box and maybe even a stand to uh, hold my iPad that I can use to uh, look at my fish finder information now that deeper unit uses Bluetooth but I have another one um, that uses Wi-Fi so here it fits good I'm just using bungee cords to uh, put it in place but um, I really need to uh, protect it and I decided to uh, paint it um, navy blue to match the boat. And after it dried I did the other side. So while that's drying, I had to figure out a way to put my Texas uh, boat numbers on there. Um, I, I punched uh, two holes at the uh, corners, top corners, as you can see here. And then I ran some bungee cords from those holes to some D-rings. But the wind kept blowing them up. And so I was thinking, yeah, I can use this Velcro to hold it down. And it held down real good. And I... Uh, did the same thing to the other side. Well, we got to get back to these registration um, stickers again. 
course those are old and they need to be taken off so I'm using my velcro idea and of course the new ones are laminated and on the bottom of the uh, registration sticker I just uh, you know as you can see here I applied uh, two strips of um, velcro for each one and I yanked off the uh, old ones and place the new ones on. Now with the mid-deck uh, dried, it's time to uh, put everything together again. The deck came on um, pretty good, along with the chair. And I just put a tackle box on there to see what it would look like. And there it is facing the front. And here's that iPod um, stand. I'm sorry, iPad stand that I plan to display my fish finder information on. Of course, I plan to put, a, put it inside like a weatherproof or waterproof uh, case. And for extra power, I have these um, waterproof batteries that I can attach to my GoPro and the um, iPad and other electronics and I kind of figure that um, I could use the um, velcro idea to keep these um, batteries in place so we'll do a quick little walk around there's my fish finder transducer up front one of my GoPros either will face towards me or towards the front. There's the boat light with the uh, GoPro adapter. My Texas boat number identification. My mid deck with the uh, tackle box on there. My oars if I need them. There's my battery strapped to the uh, back deck. And of course, my trawler motor. But can I break it down? And fit it in my truck. It breaks down to a small size and yep I can get it in my truck. Time to go on my vacation. See you guys later. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.